we're gonna see how the Cly extract isocurve works. So first of all, I'm gonna start with a primitive, so maybe with a box. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the segment, for instance, to four, four, and four, and I'm gonna validate. I'm gonna change the display mode shaded. Okay, so that's my figure. So how can I extract an isocurve from here? So I can grab an edge, for instance, this edge in here, and I can go to the creation tab and extract isocurve. So it's gonna take this edge to create the new curve. So when I click in here, it's gonna create the curve. Okay, this is the new curve. I'm gonna delete it. Let's imagine that instead of on basic view, it's on smooth view. So selecting the same edge and running the exact same command, the extract isocurve, it's gonna allow me to extract the isocurve following now the smooth object. Okay, so now we can get the smooth curve. Okay, let's imagine that we don't want the entire loop. So we want, for instance, from here to here to extract the isocurve. So we can go to the creation tab, extract isocurve. And I can uh, take either this side or the other one. Okay, then it's gonna complete the, uh, the entire loop. Okay, so I can extract this one or this one. Okay, I won't create the curve right now. And uh, the last example that I want to show you, it's let's imagine that I have all of these edges selected. Okay, and I go to extract the isocurve. curve. In here, it will allow me to extract individually between every one of the edges, which is the isocurve curve that I want to extract. Okay, for sure I can run the uh, that tool multiple times so I can extract this part right click to run the tool again and extract this part again I'm gonna create two different curves one in here and the other one in here okay so with this tool uh, it's gonna be so much easier to combine with uh, Rhino Zero's uh, tools to put some gems on it or any command that works with curves okay so that's all that's the new tool that we have implemented on the new clay version I hope that you like it, and thanks for watching.